Praise the Lord today, saints, hallelujah, to the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the mighty God, and it's him we serve, and it's him we adhere to. Hallelujah. He is the way. He's the way. You got problems today, and you don't have a way out? Well, Jesus is the way. Hallelujah. He's the truth. Something you need to know, you, you don't know if this is true or if that's true, and you're trying to find it out. Well, Jesus is the truth. Hallelujah. And and you feel like maybe you don't have any umption to go. You don't have enough strength. You don't have enough just whatever, you know, to keep going. Well, he's the life as well. Hallelujah. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And he's the one that keeps the saints on the narrow way. He knows every single thing that every one of us need in order to keep us on the narrow way, walking with him, loving him, praising him, worshiping him. And along that narrow way, there are like high boulders, you know, on either side. It's, it's a very narrow way. One time he showed me it's like a just a narrow, narrow path through two sheer walls, you know. And it's and it's because it, the word narrow there means pressure. It means affliction. It means tribulation. It's it's a narrow way. And so from the top of those rocks, you know, there's the demons throwing down stuff, you know. And and the demons will use people, and they'll use circumstances or whatever. They'll try to throw stuff in our mind and in our heart, and to get us to to look at them, to turn around or whatever. But no, saint, we have to keep going straight on the narrow way and trust the Lord, trust the Lord, trust the Lord. You know, the Lord has shown me and shared many things in our walk together. And when we first got married, you know, the, the, the Lord had us go to this little church in uh, Cole, Oklahoma. And it was just a little Pentecostal church. And we went there and, and it was a blessed service. It was a week after we were married. And this country preacher was, was in there preaching and, and he was visiting preacher. And man, it was an awesome service. It was really, really power packed. And and this lady was there singing, and and she couldn't hardly carry a note. But man, when she sang, I I guarantee you the Holy Ghost was falling. And and we just both had tears running down our faces, and we were worshiping God and praising the Lord. And, and this lady, she 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 uh, turned around and looked at us. She was in in her uh, in the pew in front of us, in the seat in front of us. Uh, I don't, I think they had pews in there. I'm not real sure. But she turned around and she said, the Lord wants me to give you this. Okay. And so she, when she turned around, she said, the Lord wants me to give you this. And, and we said, okay. And so she started reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. And she said, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right. These things say he that is holy. He that is true, he that hath the key of David. Oh, hallelujah. He that openeth and no man shut it. Oh, praise God. And shut it and no man openeth. See, see, in other words, God's fixing to open some doors for you. Okay? In your life together. And ain't no man going to be able to shut those doors. Hallelujah. And then God's going to shut doors in your face. And that means you can't open that door. You can't go through that door. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, saints, that has happened to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God opened doors for us. And I'll just give you one example right here on YouTube. Right here on the Internet, God opened doors for us to preach the gospel without any help from, from, from a job like making money, going out working for the man, making money. In order to pay our bills. No, we rely totally upon the Lord. See? And the Lord raised up certain people to help us along the way. And oh, let me tell you. We are so grateful. We are so thankful to our Heavenly Father. For choosing those certain people that He has used. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have blessed our soul. Not only in, in giving to the ministry to help us. To get what needs to be paid, paid. But also in our soul to pray with us and to be a friend to us. You don't know how important that is in the body of Christ. We are one body of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that so bless us. But other people on YouTube, they try to shut the door in our face. Other people.
try to shut the door in our face, try to pull down our channel and do all sorts of evil and false things against us, slandering us, lying against us. But see, you can't shut the door that God has opened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the Lord had us proclaim a work that he wants to do where we live. And we proclaimed that work. And boy, we were all excited, man. We'd never done anything like that in our life. And we're like, God, you know, and, and then nothing happens. Nothing happens. But in the in behind the scenes, in, in the eternal uh, counsels of God, God has a plan. See, he has a plan for you. From the foundation of the world, he has works for you to do. Works for me to do. Works for my wife to do. Works for us to do together. Uh, for instance, let me give you a for instance about that, what I just said. Because... At one time in our walk, when we first got together, man, I backslid, man. I was, oh, man, I backslid for about a month or two, and it was bad. But you know what? My wife was praying for me. My wife got on her face to God for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that I could get free. Hallelujah. And I did get free. Praise God. Because he put a godly woman in my life. Hallelujah. One that loves the Lord. One that will speak right in your face and tell you the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and I just praise God for her. But, but, but people try to shut the door, see? He openeth and no man shutteth, and he shutteth and no man openeth. But the devil wants to shut the door, but he can't shut the door, see? Hallelujah. And just this week that went past, the Lord blessed us. Because the Lord shows us, he gives us signs, okay? We've been praying for certain things, and the Lord... He gives us something this week that just blessed our socks off because we've always wanted to get a bigger computer. We want to get a bigger computer with more space, more storage, and quicker, more RAM. You know, But when we look at the computers, we don't have the money to spend on the computer. If we have the money, we can't spend it on the computers. We have to spend it on something else. So God just laid it on this brother's heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. And, and thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And he just sent us this computer and it's got a one terabit hard drive and a huge screen I mean the screen is like awesome and it, and it just blessed our socks off hallelujah and he sent a webcam what I'm using right now to, to make this video and me and my wife are just humble we're just thanking God you know it's a sign it's a sign to us because God wants us to do more and we're going to do more because God's doing the work not us we, we can't figure it out we can't drum it up we can't go out and, and, and do like many of these preachers and people who call themselves pastors, shepherds. See, a shepherd, a true shepherd doesn't go out to the sheep and say, uh, can you feed me today? Can you feed me today? See, no, a true shepherd doesn't have to do that. A true shepherd feeds the sheep. Okay. Hallelujah. And then the heavenly father provides, hallelujah, from the flock, doesn't he? Hallelujah. See, oh, praise God. See, that's how it works in a true, in a true uh, sheepfold. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you're showing me some things. And I just bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But look at that. But look, and he, Jesus says here in verse 8, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. See? So all you people out there working for the devil, you, you're trying to shut the door. Upon me and my wife in this ministry, God's raising up and raised up. It ain't going to work. You might as well just go on and, and crawl in your closet somewhere. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Open door. No man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Of the synagogue of Satan. Of the church of Satan. Because if you're not in Christ Jesus, you are in the devil, okay? You're operating by the by Satan, by the spirit of this age. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Oh, praise God. That actually happened. Do you believe do you believe this scripture? I mean, we this scripture came alive to us one day. We were like Wow, man. man, I mean, it came alive to us. 
And this guy was bowing down to my wife, man, just bowing. I mean, he just went, he hit the floor just like a, and this guy weighed like 400 pounds. And he was just like, boom, just, just bowing down to my, right at her feet, man. We were like, I just looked at Sharon and went, whoa. And this has happened, see? You see, the, the word of God is true. And God gave us this word back in 1995. And this word is true for us and for this ministry and for the work that he wants to do through us. Just two little little grains of sand in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. But it's up to me and Sharon to be obedient to God. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes the pressure gets so hard, you know, we forget. We forget and, and don't call to remembrance the things that God has done. And for that we repent. We say, oh Lord, forgive us. Forgive us, Lord. For you have done all things, hallelujah. And you've done them good, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Behold, hallelujah. He, he says, I'm going to make them come and bow down at your feet and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, the word of my patience, because you've been faithful to preach the gospel, hallelujah, because you've been faithful to help those whom I send you to, irregardless of how they treat you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Now that's not the rapture taking you out of here. That's mean, that means that that temptation, that temptation that's going to come upon all the world and it's coming on them now. The temptation to make your own way out, to make your own way, and to, to, to get, at, get yourself out of trouble. That temptation won't come near you. I will give you the grace to stand through all the trials and tribulations coming upon this earth. Hallelujah. He'll do the same for you too, saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's verse 10. 310 of uh, Revelations. Hallelujah. And then the Lord says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Oh, oh man, praise God. We hold it fast. See, that no man take our crown. They ain't going to take our crown of joy. Hallelujah. We're going to rejoice. Hallelujah. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. Oh, praise God. And we, we long to be made into that pillar. Oh, hallelujah. And I will write upon him the name of my God. Oh, praise God. And the name of the city of my God. Which is New Jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Oh, man, that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of names right there. It's a lot of character. It's a lot of authority. It's all from the Lord. Hallelujah. And he's doing that in our life, but we don't understand everything. Pray for us for understanding, for wisdom and understanding. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And the churches are people, not buildings, people. The church is a living organism. A building is made out of wood and that is dead and clay that's been mined from the earth and made bricks out of and mortar, okay, and steel, iron ore. That's what the churches, the buildings are made out of. Something that is dead, that has no life in it, okay. The life is in Christ and the life is in a people. Living organism. That's the church. Hallelujah. That's the church. God wants you to be encouraged today because he says to me, he says, John, encourage yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. When David, he, his, his whole family, David's whole family, all of his sheep, everything was taken by the Amalekites. And you know what? David encouraged himself in the Lord. And we're at a time in our walk. And, and it, you know, we're coming up to the end of the month, and we're we're, we're having to we're we're encouraging ourselves. We're remembering God's bringing us to remembrance how many times He has set us free from from hardship in the temporal realm. He is so faithful to us. He is everlasting, our God. He is Almighty. He is eternal. He knows what He's doing with His saints. But we must be faithful to Him, and we must cry out to Him daily. Do not give up. I mean, our life is a perfect example of God's goodness and graciousness and faithfulness. You know, there was a time in, in 2000 and 2003, we were on the shortwave radio, 
and we preached the gospel in shortwave, and man, we were against the computer, man, we were with no computer, no computer at all, you know, I mean, there was a time we wouldn't even buy a CD for a CD player, I mean, it was like, you know, no, but the Lord showed us along the way, and then in some, some, we met some people in 2007, and we started using the computer, and we, and the Lord just said, just get on there and start preaching, you know, and so we did, and we made the Soldiers of the Cross broadcast, and, and it went out all over the world via my, uh, one of my relatives' uh, chat rooms, and we were just like, okay, praise God, and so that's what God wanted to do, and then in 2008, he gave us a little computer, and uh and he, and he told me then, he said, I'm going to give you another computer. So you're going to be working side by side. And, and, and that's what he did. And then, then he gave us this big one because we wanted a bigger computer with more storage because the little computer is almost, you know, used up all of its C drive. And so God blessed us with this computer because he's faithful. He knows what we need and where we need it. And I want to declare his faithfulness today that he sees what you need today, saint. But you walk in faith and you believe and you trust in your God and you will see the answer. And you pray the desire he's put in your heart, the desire he's given you. Because you take delight in him, pray, pray and seek the Lord and he will never fail you. Hallelujah. Seek his face and he will reveal himself to you. He loves you. But he's also a just God and he will punish sin. And if you deliberately go out with your will and you're and your knowing I'm just going to go out and sin. I'm going to go do this. God's going to see to it that you suffer the consequences of that sin. Okay? That's what he does. Don't do that. Rebuke that. Submit to God. Resist the devil. Watch the devil flee. Heavenly Father, I bless you for this word today, this morning. I thank you, Lord, for encouraging me and sharing this morning, Lord. Encouraging this house here, Lord. I thank you for this wonderful gift you've given us this week, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I thank you so much. I pray you bless our brother, Lord, the Senate. Bless his family. Bless his household, Lord. I thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you that you raise up people, Lord, to help us here in this ministry. I thank you, Father. I bless you today. And I worship you and glorify you, Lord. For you are the holy God. You're the mighty God. And Father, we just pray right now, share and I in agreement, Lord, for the people. For all the saints, Lord, at whatever level of walk they're at, Lord, you want to bring us all deeper. You want to take us deeper, deeper, deeper to jump out into the river where it's a river to swim in. Because we're not going to drown. We're just going to be filled with more life, Lord, from you. And watch you do the miracles of people's lives. Watch you transform lives right before us, oh God. For it's all about the souls, Lord. You came for the souls of men. Hallelujah. So let your word go forth today, Lord. Anoint this message to, to reach those you want to reach, O oh God, with encouragement and strength, O oh God, and rebuke. Oh, we praise you. We glorify you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray, Father. Amen.